Good evening, my <laughs> Sorry for a slight delay. We've had Wi-Fi problems. <laughs> Technical issues. I think it's a, a windy, windy night, and uh, I think that's what's caused it. But there you go. Yeah. Evening, James Castle. Evening, above the clouds. Iggy, good evening. Voodoo Ultras, good evening. Cracking beard, Voodoo. Like that. You see, you see his thumb, though. <laughs> yeah, I can just see it, yeah. Simon, evening, Simon. Wibbly Vogs, good evening. Andy Harris. Lynn, good evening. Lynn, I noticed you made another purchase, and it's something you've purchased twice before. You must love oh. <laughs> uh, Keith, good evening. Keith Parker. Uh, did, I think I said Andy Harris, didn't I? But anyway, Andy again. George Morrison. Um, Andy, another Andy. Good evening and welcome. And Grey Vapor. And Flat Cap, hello Gaz, how are you? And Hi right, Gaz, how are you mate? Um, and I think we're there. Yeah, yeah. cheers mate, like <laughs> the beard. <laughs> 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 I did see someone the other day, and um, I hadn't seen him since last year, and he had a full beard like that, a real big one. Uh, it's actually a car dealership I go to, and, and he shaved it off, and I didn't recognise him at all. I thought it was a new <laughs> car. I just couldn't. <laughs> For so many years with that beard, it's quite strange. Uh, Coil Proby, good evening. Pav. Hey, Proby. Uh, hey, Pav. Yep, that's it. And everyone else, I think I've said hello to. Yeah, yeah. sorry for the delay. Um, yeah, little don't, glitches. I don't know quite what was happening, whether it's the windy weather, but Jay's just keep kept freezing on the screen. But I think we're all there now. I think we're there. Technology. Technology. So, <laughs> James, have you got anything new you're vaping on tonight? <laughs> Since I'm, he knowing I, the I, answer. I, I, I may have. <laughs> I may have several items that are new. <laughs> so let's start off with, uh, we've got the Smuggler by Stern Mods with the Leto RTA in it. And that's got some of some crazy croc from AD Vaping. So that's an 18350, uh, like is it? 18350, yeah. That's yeah. an 18350. This next one is also an 18350. Yeah. Oh. But that's even smaller. <laughs> oh, that. Like that. It's dinky dinky. Um, on top of it's the wake mouth to lung tank by something X. Yeah. I yeah. tried the wake and a lot of people said it's quite good. I, I enjoyed it. I, I but I think it just looks really nice on that with the black on the black because the black it's up with matchy matchy, isn't it? Mm. Um and then the mods, the IMO from Ekit A. I've got to say it now. Enaquandro mods. Um, a little late in the Enaquandro. Enaquandro. <laughs> you have to do it with accent. Oh, yeah. Enaquandro. Um, uh, but the nice thing about that is it's a side fire. So, obviously, it's so small, so you haven't got the switch on the button. But it's quite clever the way they've done, done that, and I'll show that in a bit. Um, and in that, I've got some mango and raspberry fizz from AD Vaping. One of our new ones. And then finally, we come to. Ooh. Oh, and he's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen out of the room. I don't know what you can see on, on YouTube, guys. But I've just seen the, a picture of his mod held there. So that's probably what you can see. So I will just uh, go. He'll be back in a second. That's what happened earlier. He froze out and then he came. Here he is. He's back in the room. Uh, back again. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to go boot the router in a minute. Anyway, as I was saying, we've got the Haku Phenom uh, clone on top of the uh, Soul Mechanical Squonker by Arctic Dolphin. And in that, I've got some uh, butterscotch custard. But, that's me. Right, okay. That's an interesting mix. Yeah. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, you're right, Pat. Norfolk. It is nice. Actually, I don't think it is Norfolk Internet because mine's all right. <laughs> I think it's um, Welsh Internet. Perhaps it's the Welsh bit internet. Cheap have been biting the wires or something yeah. like that. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go and turn Alexa off in case that's sapping all the bandwidth. Okay. Back in a second. We'll see you in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely picture now of his chair. Um, yeah, Keith has been blowing there. And I did see, where is it? Coil. Coil Proby. Yeah, did I did I say Coil UK? If I didn't, Coil Proby, I apologise. Um, but we've got the right man now. Dion, hello, Dion. And Asphodel, good evening. Uh, yep, yeah, one or two in chat. So I think that's about it. And not, same as always, guys, if you've got anything you want to ask me or, or James, 
just put in capital letters nature vape or, or james at the start of the sentence and then we'll, we'll pick it up quite quickly and quite easily so is that your full repertoire of tea? that's my full repertoire mate yeah of what i'm vaping on this week yeah well i've got one or two bits um i'm still vaping on this tell tank um that's on the uh woodpecker mech mod I like that. It's a nice setup that together. It looks really smart on that, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just loving this, and there may be some good news on this. I've been in talks with um, Swiss, um, vape, Swiss vape. I don't know, that's a mouthful. Swiss vape technology. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it may well be that we can um, get these in the UK. The Tell tanks and the oh. uh, they, they of course do the crossbow as well. Yeah. So. Because they do, it comes with the arrow, doesn't it? It does. The, is that for the Nautilus? That's for the Aspire Nautilus. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully that will. I'm, I can't promise at the moment. But it's you know when I say early discussions, it won't take long. That hopefully he's frozen. Hopefully that will come off. So that will save I don't know fifteen quid um, postage for people to get them brought in, <laughs> beeping away. Uh, so yeah if people in the uk are interested just keep your powder dry for a little while and we'll know very very shortly save cool. you 15 quid of packaging um uh yeah i managed to get here in time yeah well well done asphodel asphodel, asphodel. Quite, did the ambition mods come in thursday friday to get my order in no the ambition mods uh, there they were sent. They should have been the twelfth, actually, but they were sent on the thirteenth. So I'll get them in probably two days' time. So and that's yeah, all New the, Year coming up, isn't it? Yeah, Chinese that, New Year's coming up. That's all the different coloured ones: the clear, the frosted, the the, the open style, all all those. Swelling Merc. That's a good name. Isn't it? Put that one up. Can you service that mech? When you say service it, do you? take it right apart and clean it yes you can yeah yeah it's all... if you mean these these are the same you can strip yeah. them all down and clean them as well i mean that's that's the one thing that I mean, i'm not saying everyone should get into mix far from it but they are timeless if you've got one that nothing can go wrong it, it's like a torch <laughs> if, you, if you like the, the power is coming purely from the battery i'm sure you all know that but it, yeah. no, it it does. It, it's a timeless thing. It's not like the chip can go wrong, and you know if that mod isn't made anymore, you can't get a new chip for it. It's, you know, it's, it's um. Plus, I don't know about you, James. I love using a mech from time to time, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And to be fair, they, they you know the only thing that you can do with them is if you've got a dodgy battery in a minute. That's the only thing that really goes wrong, isn't it? On a mech. Yeah. That's right. Um, Iggy, how do you do that orange thingy when responding? Orange thingy. Oh, Is he on about when you put the things up or something? I don't know. I don't know. Iggy, can you explain, please? Uh, maybe I missed the point, or maybe you were talking to someone else. You've got a question. <laughs> James, is your... Oh, have I? Squeak. Uh, uh, it. <laughs> no, it's not streaky. No squeakage. Squeaky has been repixed. <laughs> He's fixed it. Um, James Castle, Nature Vape. Yeah, see, I spotted that, James, straight away. Nature Vape, the yeah. HPro 101 50 watt as a regulated mouth to lung tube type device solely for mouth to lung worthwhile. Yes. It's. Oh, there you go. He's answered. I, I would say my it's only. It's a nice little bit of kit. It but... is. My only issue with that is it's 22 mil and it's quite tall. So it's quite top heavy. So if you sit it on your table and someone like the dog knocks the side of the table, crash and break your glass. That's the only thing I would say that, you know, I, I would say goes against it. But you know, if you want if you want that sort of device, style of device, then go for it because it's a cracking bit of kit. Yeah. They're just obviously having a chip in there that does make them, you know, about yo much taller. Yeah. You've got that much of of the chip in the top. Yeah. Um, I'll get back to some of the some of the failing things. failing that if you don't want one like that, grab an easy mod. <laughs> well that's right. Side by side. Yeah. It's, yeah. Side by side, it's smaller, 
nice and but I can understand. I personally quite like the look of that sort of straight silver style tubes as well. Like, but the easy mod's a nice big mod, and and you've got your chip in the bottom. So yeah, and we might as well say that is my next thing on vaping <laughs> with the tripod inside. I've got a thing in here. I've got the black currant raspberry and lime. I've got a thing about that at the minute. I'm vaping that more than anything, I think. Um, That'll be uh, me next buying some of that because I'm out of it and I smashed it. <laughs> it is nice. It's, it's really it's sort of nice. moorish, isn't it? You, you, you just you miss it when you haven't got it. Uh, Asphodel, what's he put? It's a long old so Mentioning this because we talked about it before. I fixed the super tight airflow and the reload. Oh, did you? Right, because I've got one here with a super tight one. It's like what I said to you. It's like what I said to you. They pushed the inner chamber in too far. Inner bell chamber was pushed in too far in. Right. Yeah, because you know it's got like a double chimney in it, and it the inner chimney pushed up too far, so it's covered the holes. Do you get what I mean? So you, you would think that yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Because so, it's probably got like little drill holes from the side, doesn't it, in the top of the tube, and it's pushed up too far. Yeah, I guess to pull it out, you'd want, I don't know, how would you pull that out? Well, you'd take the top off, wouldn't you? And knock it down a bit. I suppose. Pop, like a little socket pop. in it, probably. Clever chap, anyway, he's fixed yeah. it. Um, but it's a shame because the, the clone was, was rank compared to the genuine. It's one of those ones that, you know, sometimes clones are, are very, you know, put them side by side. You'd, be hard pressed to sort of tell them apart, but that was one that was poor in comparison. Greetings, Spectre from the USA. Um, Curly Chew, good evening. Can't stop long tonight. Got a hell of a drive again. Oh dear. Okay. And Wibbly Vlogs, Nature Vape. See, it works when there's big capitals in front. We can see it. Very disappointed with the ages boost. Nightmare to fill and refill. Should definitely have been a see-through pod. Needs a proper mouth to lie. <coughs> well, I haven't um, tried it, Webley, at all. Um, I don't really stock much in the way of geek vape stuff. Um, we've got the Zeus X, which I thought was very good. Um, but pods, and I'll get to pods in a minute. Um, I have been sent one or two pods lately to try um but yeah so no i'm sorry can't answer that but a lot of these you know pod type things and all in ones they are very similar now yeah um swirling monk has noticed you've got the arctic dolphin squonk with a smiley face <laughs> that's the one you were using um obviously you try the rda Pav, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. I think that's an in-house chat about that. Jay, question I'll... for you. Swirling Go on. Where are we? Oh, Joe's referring to the squonk you have. Can you pull it? Oh, right. Can you pull? All right, got you. That well, it's got screws on it, so I presume so. It went together, so I'm sure it'll come apart. I, I... I haven't taken it apart yet. I think I pulled mine apart. That... Um... Just to explain the Arctic Dolphin, I've got shed loads. Not that it's just stupid. I I never did put them on the website. They they've sat here, and they're actually gorgeous, gorgeous mods. And I promise yes. I will put them on there, and I'll put them on there at sort of sensible value because the you know the they are I guess mind you a bit bit sort of time aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. Is that the single or the dual? That's the that, dual, isn't it? No, it's the single. Oh, it's the single. Yeah. yeah. I want one of them. That one in blue. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> they really. So what have you got? You've got the single eighteen six fifty, the dual eighteen six fifty, and the twenty six six fifty. Is it? And the squonker, is it? And the squonker. yeah. So four different types. Yeah. 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 And I, I promise, guys, I will put them on. I don't know why I never did. I think I just got so busy. Um, it just never happened for one reason or another. They come in a wooden box with a... they are they are nicely presented you've got to hand it to them that you know yeah they are lovely anyway put that back later don't Four. think they're mega but they don't think they're mega bucks either are they for what they are no they're not no no i mean they're not you're not talking like 
two hundred quid or something daft. You know, you were only I think you probably were at the start. Um but they won't be anywhere near that when I put them on. Um so they'll be quite a quite a bargain. Um David Cox is loving the easy and reload. Yeah, good combination, isn't it, David? Um Yeah. Yeah, I like the reload a lot. It's a nice little tank that. There you go. There's the combination. I've got a tripod on one and the reload. There's no battery in that one, in the other one. Uh, Kieran, good evening. How are you? Christopher Richmond, good evening. Nature Vape, what's a good mech to start with? Um, uh, we don't. I don't stock many. The problem with mechs is you. it's like a bit of a liability insurance type thing. And some mechs are poor. Um, I've bought them. You know, <coughs> the, there's danger aspects that I don't like. But one good one that we've still got a few left, I think, um, is the Futoon nice H20, H24 with a fire button at the bottom. And they are very good. Very good indeed. And if you want something that's like a mech but not a full mech, you could go for something like, uh, what, I, don't know, I forgot what you've got. You know, like the eighteen six fifty ones with the chips in. We've got the Atto. The Atto, that's one of them. Looks yep. like a mech, but the fire button is there. So you've got some sort of safety in there. Yeah, they've just got yeah. a little like a, a MOSFET. Little MOSFET in there, and there's yeah. a low is it low battery cut off and things on them? Some of them have. Yeah. Ten second cut off and all sorts, yeah. Yeah, they're all sort of fairly safe. And we've oh, I'm trying to think which ones. Oh, Luxem. You've got, you got the, the Lux, yeah, the Luxem. one with the curve, Luxem, yeah. And there's 18 350. There's the old Trona. They're a lovely little thing. They're nice, they are. Yeah. They are pretty. And oh, that's I got to get one of those as well. Up. So, get one of them as well. <laughs> and the <laughs> it's got a stab on The old Trona, and we've got plenty of these, is the Tack Tack it. Tack it Mini. Yeah. And. Um, Personally, for me, I've got numb thumbs, and I find that switch easier with a Tacket Mini. Um, yeah. Love that. So, 18 C 650 options and an 18 350. And an 18 3, you've got to keep your resistance quite high. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, right, I'll come on home or chat above in a minute because I'm not that far behind. So, I've done <laughs> that. I've done that. I've done that. You've just seen that. me vaping with, <laughs> with the Precisio and the, um, oh, what's this one? What's this one? What's this one? I just said it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you just said it. I can't the remember Atto. either. The Atto. Yeah, the Atto, that's yeah, it. Yeah. The Atto. <laughs> I'm leading up to something quite nice that I'm vaping on. Billet box. Uh, nice. Inside the billet box, I've got the new um, mission. Rebuildable in there. Now, what I did with the packaging for that? Here it is. Yeah, the mission of Karma. Also got blackberry, ras black currant, raspberry, and lime. <laughs> nice. Hmm. So I find myself with a billet box covering the three holes because I like a bit of a tighter drawer. Yeah. Right. Shall we put you out of your misery? What else I'm vaping on? Yeah, let's have a look at your new shinies. Shall we lift it up slowly? Do, 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 do. There it is, guys. The Kelpie RDA. Save me a silver one. <laughs> There's the Kelpie. Uh, that one's in black. They're not, before you bombard me, they're not physically here yet. The This was, they sent this one. Um... There it is. And a blue one, which I haven't opened yet. They're two sample ones. They came yesterday. So oh, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. You haven't thought, have you? What's that? Have you, have you got a blue H24 there? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, not here. That would, look, that, would, that, would, that would look nice on that, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. It would <laughs> but the... So what have I got this on? 45 watts. I've put a 0.33 ohm coil in there. And the coil I put in, which I bet I haven't got one up here, was a Canthal 4-core. Oh, Canthal 4-core. Nice. Uh, here they are. Here they are. I have got one here. And they they just fit. Oh, that's an old one. I haven't raised. Last one in the tin. Anyway, 
it, it fits well because I don't know if anyone watched uh, Vaping with Vic's um, video of it, like the presentation of it. But he had his coil was Correct. rather stretched and spaced. Did you see it, James? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I just yeah, he spaced it. Yeah. I wanted a coil that was naturally that width and the four core, and that would work in Canthal, um NI80, or stainless steel. We've got them in all three. Anyway, let's have a vape. For a single coil, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty impressive. I am in it. Yeah, I, I like the F. I had a go on on Vic's prototype at Expo, and I liked the the pull on it. It's got a nice draw to it. Bruce, I mean, you I mean, you were really hooning it then, weren't you? Yeah. And it's got it's got a little bit of a, but that's because of the holes, isn't it? Well, the I've way they've done that. the airflow. Oh, my God. Let's put it wide open. blow that up there somewhere i'll get smoked out otherwise the, the flavor was very good off it i was quite impressed with very it very good flavor very good flavor but it it almost should work shouldn't it because yeah looking at the coil design it is i'm not going to say it's like this or like something else but there's there's a lot of like little bits that have been used from other things to make it the way he wants it you, which everybody does yeah Used from some of the better stuff, I would say, as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <coughs> uh, You know, because it's got that curved deck in it, so the coil sits, so every bit of the coil gets air, so that's going to give you a, a nice, flavoursome vape. <coughs> I had that on fully tight, and that was too much. Basically, all you do to adjust it, and I like this, all, all one way, mm. the restrictive, yeah. and turn it the other way, it's just for wide open. Not even half a turn. Wide open. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hardcore. <coughs> Let me turn it the other way so the air flows <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, try vaping it when the air flows <laughs> open. That one. That was warm, eh, Mark? Was it? Is it warm? <laughs> oh. There you go. That's better. But yeah, I've only had it a day, so I haven't played with it fully. But first impressions are, yeah, it's very good. Very good flavour. Single coil. Um, I think I read somewhere you could put a dual coil in it, but it's not really made for that, is it? Single not made coil. for that. A single coil. Anyone want to see inside it? Yeah, show us the deck. Show you the deck. Let's see if I can move some space here. Get your deck out. <laughs> Get your old deck out. <laughs> right, I made some space. Flick to the other camera. See if I can do that without going. Hey, well done, me. Oh, I think I've gone completely the other camera. Pull that top off. There you go. Can't really see a lot, but I've got a nice. Do a bit of a close up on that coil. See if it'll focus in. There you go. Nice four core coil in there airflow comes down the side through that from the top into that side piece up and through the middle very nice it's actually simple and effective isn't it basically yeah yeah now i don't know what to do i'll put me on then i'll add you there you go <laughs> back in the room <laughs> back in the room yeah I only meant to put half a screen on and leave you on the other side, but it doesn't matter. Do you know, do you know what I reckon would go nice in that as well? Personally, for me, I'd probably use one of your two core Claptons in that, the 0.3 somethings, 0.38s. Is yeah. it 0.38? Yeah, the two Stainless core, but again, they're quite narrow. Um, I've put on the website, perhaps the Aliens would, would work well in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they work well. And they're quite wide, but the four core is just, because it is four core, they're just spaced that bit wider. Yeah. And you aren't stretching the coil to the sides. Yeah. To get it. Yeah, because all I do with the leg is just do that with it. Yeah. So it, so it goes off at a cock like that, you know? But you don't have to with that coil. No, it's, no. It's straight both sides, so... Yeah, very I, I good. Suppose the, I suppose it's probably got a decent juice well in it, though, because if you don't pack as much cotton in, if you're dripping on it rather than squonking, you'd leave a little well 
you'd tuck the carton to one side of the chamber, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? So I, I call it ass wicking. So you go one side, one side like that with the wick. So you've got a little chamber for it to sit in. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. I left quite a bit of wick on there. Um, it is very deep. Um, I think it's eight to nine millimeter deep, juice well. Um, so yeah, you've got got a lot of juice well there. You haven't asked me what mod it is. Do you know what mod that is? I know what it is, but I can't think what the hell it is off the top of my head. I know I want one. <laughs> It's a. It's not. It's not cheap. <laughs> no, it's a. It's a. What's it? A Squeevo? They're called Squeevo. Yeah, Squeevo. Yeah, cy, um, Cyclone mods. Squeevo. Yeah, okay. DNA sixty chip. So yeah, very good. I won't vote too much of that. Not because I'm not enjoying it. I am. I've got the. Um, but most of the point, you won't be able to see him. <laughs> uh, yeah, you won't be able to see me. It's only a little room, and it, I'll just go in, in the... There you go. I've got the short fill in there. The black currant the raspberry wine. Oh, it's pretty nice. And it does taste very nice. Right. Where did we get to? Curly Chew. Have you seen the Nautilus GT? A spy really need to start doing RBAs again. Um, have I seen it? Yeah, the Nautilus GT is the new Nautilus. It's beautiful. It's the uh, Tafen collaboration one. Right, okay. I don't think I have seen it then, so I'll have to have a look. They're, uh, they're in with the UK Aspire um, wholesalers early next week, they said. Right. And I forget now what Asphodel was talking Oh, yeah, he was talking, talking about the reload clone, wasn't he? Got yeah. The- the chambers are touching each other and the upper upper slanted part. I had to push to one side, then with the other it said back and forth, then I used my ceramic tweezers to push from the top. <coughs> okay, fair enough. Flat cap, Zusex? <laughs> Zusex got to do with everything. <laughs> it's got vape based oh, threats. <laughs> Zusex, the um, geek vape. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Zusex. I've completely lost where you are now on my eyes. Oh, I'm miles back now. I'm I'm way off the beach. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working my way down, don't worry. Rob, UK Vapester, good evening. Um, Hopefully you're still in looking at the show and you're just in Vic's new Kelpie, RDA. By the way, I'm bound to get asked. The main order has now been sent, so I should have that. End of this week, I would say. I haven't done pre-orders on it because I just, in general, I don't like pre-orders. So I did notice that one firm is. Because something goes wrong, you're screwed, and then you have to refund a load of people, and it's just a mess. Absolutely. Uh, Iggy, um, Nature Vape, and Jay, have you tried the Freemax Gym disposable tanks? I haven't, personally. Have you tried one? No. 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 Uh, just reading through, see so if I've missed anything. A lot of it is in chat. Chat, 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 chat. Um, yeah, I think it's just in chat. Uh, oh, help needed. Right, okay, let's put Shane's comment up there. Shane Gibson. Help needed, got a 0.7 ohm coil in an RTA, just wondering best wattage. 0.7 ohm, you're sort of... I guess you'd be mouth to lung then on 0.7. But even so, I like, that's sort of the minimum I would go personally with a mouth to lung. And I would think if it is a mouth to lung coil. uh, 12 watts and work your way up. Yeah, but I, you'd need a bit more than 12 watts for that. It depends what... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, 12. 12. It depends on the tank, doesn't it, as well? Just like <clears> up <throat> to you find your sweet spot, isn't it? Yeah, what, I would say you'll probably down. settle on somewhere around about 15 watts, I would have thought would be my yeah. guess. But it depends whether you like an airy mouth-to-lung style. And of... It depends what the co- depends what the coil's made out of as well, because yeah. some 12 watts will be ragey and some won't, won't they? But we need a little bit more information, I think, Shane. But you know, hopefully, it's given you. Me. Um, yeah, the people. Are, oh, Daniel. Oh, that's a good question, Daniel. Um, what chips are in them Arctic dolphins? I don't know. 
<laughs> they are. I think it's their own, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. But they are only a basic little, tiny little screen. Um, they're, just, they're nothing special, Daniel. I mean, obviously, just, the work just fine. But... Just wattage all day long, and it? it's yeah. just simple. Yeah. And that's the best boards I like because they just work. Mm. And they use little powerhouses, and they're good work mods, like, you know. Uh, Andy Harris is trying to help Shane. Volta, yeah, of course it might be. Mind you, I think he did say wattage, didn't he? Mm. Uh, Keith saying download the wattage calculator off uh, Play Store. Yeah, that's a good point. But they, I don't know if it's like the old ones, they used to give you <coughs> like a green and then a red, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. For that. They, were, they were quite useful in the early days. That was years ago I saw them. We've got, we've still got one imprinted out in the shop on the wall for people oh, to look at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Alton, ooh. Don't you like Alton, Rob? I, I love a bit of Alton. I only like polished Alton. Do you? Polished. Yeah. 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 I like the polish. I don't like the frosty stuff because it reminds me of something that goes inside you in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not polished. Not polished. <laughs> And UK votes, I think mine's coming tomorrow. Presumably, you mean the Kelpie. I don't know how many they're sending out to reviewers, etc. I know, I'm trying to remember that. Did they ask me to send some out? Yes. <laughs> You're going to say yes, aren't you? Yeah. I can't remember. I'll see what turns up. I got a feeling they have they maybe have sent me one or two extras. I have a feeling, but a lot of the the time I think Heaven's Gifts promote their DH Pro yeah, stuff do, yeah. quite heavily. <clears throat> James Castle put that one up. How are you finding the Precisio? I find the flavour exceptional and love its versatility in that you can achieve mouth to lung and direct lung. Bloody good purchase in my opinion. I couldn't agree more, James. They, Doesn't I like. Nice. The, sort of a tighter draw mouth to lung but it is I know I've spoken to the guy who sort of designed these and his focus is to make a high end product at a, an affordable price and that's what yeah. I think he's achieved and his next um, his next I can't say too much about it there, there may be a newer version coming <laughs> and that will be a similar book yeah, I have to try that. It, it does look nice. To, I like I like stuff that looks high end but isn't. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have a high end price tag. I'm big on that because a lot of people don't have the pennies to go and get the really expensive <laughs> tanks and stuff. Right. And let's face it, you'd most people would rather buy an authentic, cheap authentic that looks good than a clone that performs crap because some clones are awful. Not saying all are, but some are horrendous, <laughs> as you found out before. Yeah, and I found out in yeah, the past. Yeah, that's right. You know the the threading and everything on that tank. You can see that he's he definitely means what he says. It is very well. Yeah. Swirling monk. Do not a looker. And Vic didn't sound pleased with the outcome, but if it vote well, buy a few. I presume you're talking about the kelpie. Um, yeah. I think it looks quite nice. It's I'm, quite clean looking. I wouldn't say <sighs> not a looker. Um, how do you make a rip? I really like the stainless one. Yeah, stainless I, looks gorgeous. They didn't send me stainless yet. I've just got the black and the blue. Um, but I think it's. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's ugly by a long way. I think it's quite a plain Jane. But yeah. in a way, I like that. I don't like, you know. No, I don't. I don't like all marking loads of hideous no, markings and stuff on things. Going crossbones and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I don't like all that. So, for me, a, a more senior gentleman, <laughs> yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's nice. And it does very well. Uh, yeah, Keith is uh, very well made too. He's talking about the Precisio. Yeah. I know Keith's got two or three, I think. Um, Daniel, the four core candles are awesome and fit perfectly in the recurve. Oh, he's giving me a hard time. Nice. Daniel <laughs> loves the recurve, and some time ago, um, he, he sent me one, <laughs> and it's still <laughs> in the back. It's a nice, it's a nice dripper. Um, I will try. I must. I must. Now I've um, 
Now I've got like I'll put it on there because that that's a single eighteen six fifty. That's perfect for a single coil. Yeah. Plonk in it, but. Is it noisy? It's not really. Um, it might come across on the microphone, which is that one, um, as quite noisy. But no, it's not. And you can tweak it. Let's tweak it down a little bit without making my eyes go pop out again. Hang on. A bit more. Sounds worse there. Eh? Yeah. No, it's not in, like, real life. It's not exceptionally noisy. It does sound probably, I will admit. Yeah, it sounds quite noisy on the thing, but I know it's not like that because I've vaped on one. <laughs> no. And I, I've also got the coil quite low in there. I, I'm a bugger for that. I always like to get the coil down quite low, so if it's hot, yeah. might quieten that down a bit. Uh, Keith. What's that? <laughs> Ooh. Um, James Castle, Keith, yeah, it's a really good quality. It's my first choice at it now over the Kfun Light 2019 and the true Mark Moy oh, on hey, anyone oh, for an opinion's nah. an opinion. And yeah, I've got everyone's different. True tank in front of me tonight. I've been chuffed as chuffed things with the the whole story of the true tank, so I can't complain. If everyone now threw them in the bin and never used them again, I'd still <laughs> consider it a, a success. In my eyes, so and that's you know that's that's got to be good, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Pev, watching Mark do direct lung somehow doesn't seem to feel natural. I I went through a phase of nothing but direct lung, but now I think for the last certainly six months I've been so much more mouth to lung that I'll be honest. Yeah around the house i don't really direct lung anymore um no. maybe when the summer's back and i'm sitting outside having a barbie with a with a bottle of beer then you know i'll probably might might do a bit more again but at the minute i, I just I don't know i have gone far more on to mouth to lung uh, keith mouth to lung only mark <laughs> um Andy Harris. Oh, that's okay. That's that's to, with themselves. Uh, Rob, you exclusive seller of the cult, the RDA, you might need to give a cheeky shout about my review. Um, I, I'm not exclusive, Rob. I won't tell anyone I am because I'm not exclusive. Um, I was with the True Tank because it was my tank. But I've got a very good working relationship with EH Pro and possibly I'll get mine before anyone else um, because I get on really well with them. But no, I'm not exclusive. Uh, copy my hand. Switch to live chat. Yeah, that's all okay. <clears throat> and Kieran was asking if he's got one heading his way. What's that? <laughs> Kieran's just got his notification that we're live. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, the note. Uh, to be fair, I was late tonight as well getting it done, and so it was all a bit of a rush. Just had one of those days today where everything was late. Um, remember, hit the thumbs up. Well, we've got quite a few. We've got 31. How many are watching? Well, that's good. Three, I think, according oh, to... Oh, nice. Yeah, there's, there should be... Come on, boys and girls. Thumbs up. Encourage Get that thumbs up going. <laughs> Kieran, what's Kieran put? Bang on the front. My hardware shiny itis is on hold. Got a backlog to get through, although there is one or two things I'm itching to get. Um... Yeah, you, you haven't done... You did a review the other day, I see, Kieran. Um, I can't remember what it was now. It was an all-in-one, I think. Um, what did Kieran do? But, yeah, you had, you've had a bit of... Well, you had a bit of an injury, didn't you, as well? So no one can blame you for not putting many reviews out lately. And Ian Morgan. Hi, Mark J. You got a Tayfun GT4 clone. Best restricted single-coil RCR I've used. Yeah, it's, it's very, very good. 
I like the TAFE and stuff yeah, back in the day. I always wanted the Mini. Do you remember the Mini, the little 16 mil one, to go on a pipe? Are you talking now about the TAFE or the KFUN? one? TAFE. They did a six TAFE Mini. It was a it was a little long thing about that. It was about 18 or 16 mil, tiny little atty. I'll tell you what it was. It, you're you're nearly right. It was right in the middle. I think it was 17 mil. <clears throat> which was an odd 17. Price. Yeah, it was only, it was I know it was tiny. And it, but uh, my mate had one on a what did he have it on? He had it on a hammer of god. I still, no, not a hammer of god, the hammer pipe. I know what you mean. Yeah, the the one that looked well, it looked like a hammer, like a silver. Yeah. 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 Um yeah, I've still got one in the drawer downstairs. Have I loved that tank, but when it inside the house it worked fine. As soon as I took the dogs for a walk, it just leaked everywhere it's like it couldn't deal with a Being change outside. of atmosphere yeah yeah weird and I've always wanted one of those didn't matter what i do it wouldn't work uh george morrison nature vote what do you think of the proprietary pod that sxk have included with the bantam box revision i haven't seen the bantam I box haven't seen it either. revision um me and SXK are having having a bit of a <laughs> lovers a moment. <laughs> yeah, we're having a, lo- a bit of a moment at the moment. Um, so I haven't seen it. Um, they're, they're, well, I don't know. They're a funny company, SXK. Can't knock their stuff, but they're. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not going to knock them because I've dealt with them for a lot of years, and I, I like their 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 things, but. You know, there's just no notice of a new product. They don't tell you. All of a sudden, you find out by getting an email from the 3F Vape or something, and you think, well, yeah. why, why treat me like that? But, you know. Yeah, normally with uh, China, they're like on your back. Every, like, we have new vape coming out here. <laughs> it is, this is this, this is that. And, you know, yeah. it's going to be this many for this many. And um, BD Vapes philosophy is to produce high end devices. Uh, oh, I see, yeah, affordable. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had a nice chat with them actually on WhatsApp. We, we were talking away for, oh, I don't know, half, three quarters of an hour. Didn't they do that nice little dripper that had loads of different caps that came with it? A little single coil one. It had like a clear cap, an Altum cap, and it had like loads of bits in the box. It was like 40 quid or something. And it was meant to be really good. And I never got one. And I can't remember what it was called. Well, it was yeah, because it, I mean, if you look at their stuff, it's on the site. It's like Fumitech. And, and then, is it Fumitech? Is, isn't it? Yeah, Fumitech, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, you're looking it up now, aren't you? Oh, that Dark Knight version's rather nice. <laughs> I told you looking at it. What, what gives you away, James, is the flash across your face as the screen changes. <laughs> I've got serious shiny eyes. Hi, right. Curly Chew. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. See you later, bud. Um, Shane Gibson. Keep getting a low battery warning on the Vinci X using Molicel 26A. Battery's fully charged. Um, bum, bum. that's odd. I don't know why. It was made by BD Vape, but they obviously don't make it anymore. It was a bloody good bit of kit, though. Was it? Actually, yeah, I can't think what it was. Yeah. Can't think what it was. They have got some nice stuff. I've just seen that Dark Knight version of the Precisio, and it's a bit nice. Yeah. With all the skulls. With all... You know what you're saying about not having skulls on it and that? Yeah. It looks crap, but that looks really nice. <laughs> the Dark Knight looks <laughs> crap, doesn't it, in the Precisio? Yeah. It looks very nice. That's what I was just looking at. Yeah. Uh, Corgoth, how do you like the Cyclone Squonk mod? I like the look of it. I'm going to be honest, it came out of the box last night. I've had it about two or three weeks, and I might might stock these, actually. Um, so, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been using it long. DNA 60 chip, so that's I'm used to that. And that what sort of pennies are they, then, retail? I think they're about 150 quid, I think. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. Um, are they exceptional? No, I wouldn't have said so. Um, it does feel well made. It feels nicely put together. It feels quite robust. But adjustable 510 with an Allen key, which is quite a nice touch. Quite like that. Um, yeah. 
I don't know what to say. <laughs> it, it's not a mod that, like, I got the, you know, like like this one, and I thought, oh, it feels tactile and nice. A squonk mod doesn't. No squonk mod feels tactile and nice, does it? No. But it, it works well. It seems, you know, seems well made. And that's about it, really. Sorry. I made a cock up. It wasn't BD Vape. It was BB Vape, the B2K RDA. Oh, was it? Hmm. Thank you, Rufus. <laughs> That's the bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been you've been put right, have you? Yeah. Mustn't do that. I'll smoke this for vape this room. <laughs> but tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be <laughs> cloudy. I watched Martin Parker's um, "I'm Back" vi uh, video. Yeah, you watch it, and he's he's been smoking. The bugger, naughty boy. Yeah, and I, I remember him saying he was going from he went from eighteen mil down to three milligram, and it's like the words are etched in my head. He said, "My ultimate is to go down to zero, absolute zero, and I will do it." He said, "Yeah." And I, I was, so, I'm, I think he had a a malfunction of his ECU. Mm. He was in the states or something, so and he reached for a packet of fags, but that, that did shock me. Although. You know, hands up, guys in chat. Look, be honest. <laughs> you smell someone walk past you with a cigarette. Sometimes you think, ugh. Other times Sometimes. you just get that smell and you think, I like that. <laughs> it's weird, isn't Especially it? Especially if someone's got a pipe. Never leaves you, does it? Never leaves you. Especially if someone, no. Weird. Especially if someone's got a pipe. I still love the smell of pipe tobacco. Yeah. yeah. Jim Mills, question for all. I'm a DIYer, um, e-juice, reckons e-juice, and builds. I know my flavours, PG and VG, are made in a lab, but what is the origin of my nick? Um, is it also th synthesised in a lab, or is it natural extraction? You mean the, uh, the nicotine? Nicotine. A lot of nicotine comes from Switzerland? Is that right? Yeah, yeah Switzerland. And I think... Avocados. And it is, it's lab made, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah, yeah. It's extracted from things like avocados and stuff, isn't it? Is it? I don't yeah. know. Tomatoes have got it in. Have That's they? Tomato yeah, tomatoes have got nicotine in them. There's a lot, uh, nicotine's in a lot of vegetables. Well, there fruits. you go, guys. You don't you don't <laughs> need nicotine chewing gum. You can just keep eating tomatoes. <laughs> Must be why you're addicted to like people get addicted to Heinz ketchup. Yeah. Well, I didn't know it was in tomatoes. Honestly, that must be in very small. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not like you're gonna sort of like roll up a tomato, is it, and smoke it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, Manic finally ordered an enclosure for a mod from the NL... for the NLPWM board. An NLPWM. It's a adjustable series PWM board. It's got like a little screen on it. Oh right, like a chip version of a a pot version. It's got like buttons so you can turn the power up and down and stuff yeah. like that. A big, a bit big. The enclosure is 120 by 65 by 36. Yeah, it's quite. That's not that. No, that's not that bad. That's about the same as a wide boy from. Uh, it's only about 10 mil bigger than a wide boy from. Um, from. Um, uh, what's the names? It's not much bigger than that, really. It's not much bigger than the mod maker enclosures, the Wide Boy 100, to be oh, honest. It's fairly big. 120. There. Oh, it's quite long. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the only. It's longer than normal, but the rest yeah. of the things are about the same. The 65. Yeah, because the board's quite long in that, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so it's wider than this as well. Well, this is about six, 61. By 36. 36 is about right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is, what's this, 28. Yeah. 36 deep, fair enough. Yeah. I presume it's 36 mil deep by 65 wide by 120. I will, get, it's I'll, I will get around to doing that. I will. It's really annoying because it's just like, <laughs> I just want to build it because you keep pulling the box up and showing me. It's uh, like, another week to do a tease you. Um. It's time for surgery on my leg. Oh my god, Kieran. Dear. 
Uh, so it'll be house bound. Oh, I see. So, oh, of course, I think you mentioned that. So you've got burnt arm and surgery on your leg. You're going th right through the walls, Kate, um, Kieran. You really are. Um, Keith, all I know is that my nick is farmer grade. Yeah. Um, Shane Gibson on paper mooch the molly. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Bosh, put that up there. Uh, yeah, so on, uh, on paper, Mooch, the Monocell are the best batch. However, the only reason I don't like them is they're non standard sizes. Some charger strip mods don't read them correctly. Yeah, they, they've got a weird um, size, and haven't they? It's like the, the wraps are quite thick on them as well. If they I are right. quite thick, um, which is no bad thing to a certain degree because you've got that extra bit of um, thing you like, you know. I've got a Monocell in here. As he says, he can't get it out because it's stuck in because it's too I've, fat. I've got an LG in that one. you got an LG in there. Yeah. But, yeah, and I know the Molly Cell, I do struggle to get in here. They're very tight fit. Very tight fit. Rufus sounds like the B2KJ. Yeah, it was the dripper we were on about. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not that far. <laughs> We've got some new things to to show people. Oh, new stuff. We like new stuff. Uh, well, just some, some samples that came through. Um, Andy Harris, yep, yeah, 99%. I hate the smell, but then that 1%. It is, and honestly it is, because especially when someone goes outside, they have a cigarette, they come inside, I just think, Phew. but that odd, but I think it's pretty much just as someone's lit a cigarette and walked past, Yeah, you get that that smell you think yeah so i didn't leave you andy has a weakness for cigar smell and so does kieran <laughs> used to love a friday cigar i guess it's <laughs> yeah um well done keith let's put that on the on the screen nice one Here keith well done dude well done indeed no covid nails <laughs> yeah you done well there keith um, would would you say, Keith, that it's cheaper to vape than it is to smoke? <laughs> now, if you were just going on an ego pen and something like that, and just like vaping the ten mil bottles and stuff, yes, it probably would be. But when you start getting shiny itis and you're a little bit of a collect collection whore, <laughs> I'm teasing Keith. You honestly, he's been vaping a year. He's probably got more stuff than me. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable how much stuff he's got. Uh, David Cox not had a smoke for just over three years this time, and two years the first time at vape. I mean, nice. that's pretty good. So that's like five years anyway. Um, smoke free. I mean, I didn't really give myself a hard time when I was. Um, starting to vape and when i tried on that oh that champix to start my doctor gave me champix vile stuff oh honestly that stuff was just evil it should it, they talk about that banned vaping that stuff should be banned outright because me and my partner at the time were on it and it it sent her mental and really did it sends a lot of people mental it my stomach when I started using that, I, I just thought this is evil stuff. But I, I digress. But going on to vaping, I don't think when you're making the transition from smoking to vaping, don't all I'd say is don't beat yourself up over it. I don't think. No. You know, it's harm reduction at the end of the day, isn't it? You'll get to the the stage. I think we all did that. Now I don't want a cigarette. Now I never want one again. You know. Yes, I get that old smell thing. Yeah, it still smells nice. Of a, I still don't want one. You know, it's, it's not it's not how I, I ever will be. But, yeah, I mean, but I did try. I don't know what I tried before. I tried hypnotherapy. Didn't work. Champix did work, but I really, really didn't like those sound, side effects. They were awful. Um, that was a drug, wasn't it? Administered to yeah. people with depression. And yeah. The side effects were, when they trialled it, the side effects were the people that trialled it, that smoked, didn't feel like a cigarette. 
that that's yeah. how it all began. Made him feel sick, didn't it? Yeah, they sort of stumbled on that by accident. It, it was kind of a little bit sort of uh, Clockwork Orange, wasn't it? You like when he heard his favourite music, it would make him feel physically sick. Oh you know, it's right, the same, it's the same sort of thing, yeah. isn't it? You know, it's a it's a, it's a response, isn't it? Mm. Keith, no, definitely not. I spent a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I know what some of the stuff that Keith's got, and you know, I, I talk to Keith from time to time, and you know, tell me about his his latest that he's just done. I think, oh, do you need any more? But I get like that. I, <laughs> I look do. up here and I, I bet... still now like to try. Like I bought the tripod. It was like curiosity just got the better of me. I needed yeah. to try this tripod. Everyone said how good it was, and you know, I thought I've got to try that. And yeah, it's it's good. Above the clouds, six years, well done. Um, sometimes I think crazy. I think a lot of it as well is um, it's not the collection side of it. It's it's trying to find that holy grail, isn't it? It's trying to find that perfect setup. I think. Do you know? Do you, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've got to, oh, I've got to have this tank on this one. It's like I started doing that now, like setups. Mm. So yeah. my paranormal will forever have the Crown 4 on it and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, unless I can't get coils to the Crown 4 anymore, then there's something else will go on it. Because mm. I like the tank. I like the wattage it runs at. I like the way it works with it. And I like the way it looks. And it's the same with that. That looks right on that. Yeah, it does. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, with that black tank on it. Now, yeah. normally I'm not a plastic tank person because sometimes I like a bit of lime or a bit of citrus yeah. and it'll just crack it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the, what, what they make these out of these days. The, the plastic might be different to back in the day, but it used to be a sin, didn't it? Don't put anything that's going to crack your tank. Like yeah, that's right. cinnamon, menthol, yeah. uh, limes and citrus flavours. Um, I think there was something else as well. Yeah, there was probably cinnamon I had in my head. Yeah. Rufus, um, was anyone in chat addicted to nicotine lozenges? I don't think I've ever had a lozenge. I had. It's like it's like chewing on an old filter. <laughs> oh, no, is it? Oh. Vile. I tried the nicorette, the chewing gum. I thought, oh, oh it's horrible. Absolutely. It is horrible. Yeah, and the taste in my mouth. I'm like, ah, I can't. Uh, I had hypnotherapy, I had acupuncture, I tried absolutely everything to stop. And vaping was the only thing that worked for me. The only, only yeah, because it's not just the nicotine, it's the act of inhaling something and doing something with your hands, isn't it? It's, That's... it's this, isn't it, as well? It's, it's, yeah. It's twiddling. It's the fid it's twiddling, yeah, yeah. You know, and you think about, I, I was a roll-up smoker, and, it, it, you know, you roll them one up, and, and you think about it, well, where's something here? There's a pin. So you, so you roll that up, and don't remember, you get your filter in the end, and then you... Yeah. <laughs> it away, I mean, like, God, how on earth many roll-ups did I make in my smoking career? <laughs> um, Kieran, what's he put here? Uh, yes, I have a friend that still smokes my old brand and a pack and a half a day when I quit. It would cost me four four hundred pounds a month. I mean, that's. Ludicrous. I was going to say it's a mortgage. It is for some, yeah. um, but I guess now mortgages are on a bit out of touch. Uh, but yeah. I guess some people now are paying seven or eight hundred pound a month, aren't they? Mortgage, but that's still a lot of money. Still a lot of money. Um, Lynn, he says that Champex gave me nightmare. It did me as well. Lynn, it gave me terrible awful nightmares like weird ones that you couldn't even relate to and you thought yeah. you thought you were going absolutely crazy yeah how i mean how did that stuff get passed and to to be able to use no I don't know. you know if that was now you know do they still do it i assume they do but yeah they probably do anyway i just got a, some real hate for that stuff because I, I think it's if it's affected, well, there's one, Lynn, and I know of other people, myself included, you know, you think that tiny little white tablet that you take, <laughs> yeah. you know, that you take one a day or whatever it was. I'm trying to think how it worked now. You took 
more to start with and then just yeah. took less. I think week two, you took less. Week three, you took one less. And so it went on, I think. Um, Keith is... Oh, right. Yeah, he's saying that he never knew they existed. No, I hadn't heard, heard of the lozenges either. I hadn't heard of them. Uh, George, what's George put? Put them up there. Oh, he's talking to Andy Harris. Seeing that you liked your cigar, have you tried the Dr. Lee liquid? It's a very nice cigar. Hint of butterscotch. Mm. Try that. Someone last week, who was it, mentioned a pipe? Was it Nat Benson? Yeah, something like that. I think it was. Well, I did look up those pipes. They looked... They were 18650 pipes with a chip, but they looked like basically very much like the smock. Very much with a, yeah. Uh, yeah. They were too... They were too like that angle for me. Um, I, my idea of a pipe is more... Yeah. More of a Sherlock Holmesy sort yeah. of... Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of shiny stainless steel metal. Look, it's <laughs> look at your shinies. Nicorette inhaler. Um, that thing was diddly above the cut. I'd never tried. Oh, it was before. horrible. You've tried horrible. one too, have you? Yeah, they were horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible things. Uh, I I liked as well that I was talking to a, the doctor. I was talking to her. Was a non-smoker. Had never smoked, and was telling me to use. Champing. I was like, yeah. What would you know about giving up smoking if you'd never yeah. well, was after? Um Jim Mills, ABC, I saw your review on the Cent how do you pronounce it? Centaur, isn't it? Mini. Uh Centaur. The Centaur or the Glas Mini. I'm as poor as the proverbial church mouse, hence only one. Well I haven't tried the Centaur. Have you tried it, James? But I have tried no. the Glaz, and the Glaz is very, very good. I like the Glaz. I, it's, I, I regret not getting one at Expo. I bought the wrong tank at Expo. What did you buy in place of it? I bought the um, Aromarizer Light. Hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. It's down there, it is. And it's cleaning up and putting it in its box and sticking on uh, one of the Vizail pages. Oh, <laughs> David, um, thing is, could anyone in here stop <coughs> vaping and be done with both? Well, that's an interesting comment, David, because when I went on holiday last year, back into last year, you got the time waiting in the airport, slight delay of the aeroplane. There wasn't actually a delay. I nearly missed the plane. I was the last one on it. <laughs> I was looking at sunglasses. I thought I had plenty of time. But anyway, that's another story. Um, then you got your flight, uh, which was about three and a half hours. Then you got your, you know, when you land. And, and I thought that three and a half, so probably near enough five hours, I thought I was going to be climbing the walls without having a, having a, yeah. Um, and I was actually fine, even when yeah. we landed. You know, there was some people that well, they were getting their fags out as soon as they landed, and one one woman was there. She was cranking it together, her big <coughs> rectal vape, and she was blowing clouds everywhere. But I didn't feel that that really, you know, I wasn't climbing the walls like I would when I was smoking. When I was smoking. You know, I remember working for a company and we had oh, it's about a three-hour accounts meeting. And I actually, <laughs> I actually said at one point, I said, look, can we have a break? I said, I feel like a non-smoker. And I was. I couldn't even concentrate on what they were saying because I just all I had in my head was, I want a cigarette. Okay. You know, so, and I don't think, I don't get that urge with vaping. Do you? Have you gone a, a period of time? Um, I have done that, yeah. Like when I'm ill or something like that, or if I'm I'm going on going somewhere in the car or something. Or in the somewhere. car that you can't vape for three hours, would you feel like it was a real problem to you or a train journey? No, you sort of get on with it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but smoking, I would have done. Mm. First thing you do when you get off in it. <laughs> Shane, I was on patches for ages and still smoking 40 a day. 
it's got the buzz. You know, like Nessa from bloody, um, was it Gavin and Stacey? Which is yeah. like that with the ball down her arm. Like. <laughs> I tried patches as well, and A, it gave me a skin rash where I put them on. Yeah. Um, and they gave me funny, sort of, not nightmares as such, but funny dreams as well. They affected my yeah. sleeping. Um, I took them off to sleep in the end, although I thought they said at the time you could keep them on. Um, Jay, I think you hit the nail on the head and shiny eyes to us, Keith. <laughs> um, there you go, Jim Mills. <laughs> People kill me. I have the Glass Mini here ready for review. Oh, for me, the Centaur Mini is better. Well, there you go. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, Kieran, mouth to lung wise, I respect what he says, you know, because he's, he's not normally far off the mark. Um, above the cloud the patches never did anything for me just you know, your leg oh red blotches so affected your skin as well then uh, we got on to I don't know how we got on to this really oh, it's nice to have a bit of a diverse yeah. conversation Hi. isn't it that's our point yeah <laughs> um, yeah and Keith says it's the act especially someone who rolled their own and it is it's that Playing with it, and you can't do that with a tablet or a piece of chewing gum, can you? No, you know. No. So, even now, I know sometimes I drive Tina Mac because I'm especially if you've got like the like the billet box, and I, I know I sit there clanking the panels, you know, clanking them, yeah. off, clanking them off while I'm watching the telly. It, it, it's, it's that one, isn't it? You're sort of <laughs> yeah, playing with the doors, and you, and you and you just mess about with it. Um, Andy Harris, yeah, okay. I used to roll. I think a lot of people rolled their own, didn't they? I think yeah. I, I started, I went from Benson Hedges, and I was about 40 a day, and I went from them to rolling my own because in my head I thought I might cut down if I went to yeah. rolling them. Yeah. But it turned out I liked them even more. And yeah. Because you were getting more of a nicotine hit from the rollies <laughs> than you were the fags. Because they were stronger, because you could make them stronger if you want by rolling them thicker. Yeah, yeah. Daniel, I put Daniel's up there. I think I was fortunate. The first time I quit smoking was the only time I vaped and smoked for one week whilst I was on holiday. And upon getting home, I never had a fag again. And that was five years ago in May. Yep, yeah, well done. Nice. Nice one. And Daniel's been a customer of mine. We were talking about this uh, for. Since I think 2015, I think we said. So he's in the early days. I'm trying to think when I started Nature Vote. I think it was 2014, I think. Might have been back end of 13, but it's around there. Um, and yeah, it was George replying to Andy about the e liquid. Keith, same here. After a week of vaping, I know. Never wanted to smoke or wanted to smoke since. Yeah, it's quite odd, isn't it? And it mm. it takes you. I remember going to the hypnotherapy, and I mean, I could have got up and walked out any time I wanted. I don't think for one second I was hypnotised. But and I remember, <laughs> was that her or him? Her. Um, you stink. Your clothes stink. This stinks. That stinks. Everyone thinks you stink, and it it, it was that kind of. Yeah. Sort of mindset to to give up, and but I, as a smoker, I never smelt it, you know, and even no, you don't, do you? No, no, but but now, you know, even like I think a lot of people know, I've got another business with involved with the car industry. If I open a car door that sat there for a month without anyone in it, and that's been a smoker in that car, oh, stale. It stinks. Mm. There's two smells you can't get rid of in a car. One's fags and one's dogs. And they're the two smells that are very hard to get rid of. Um, Keith, getting the proper setup from a good vape shop is a secret. Yeah, I think I think it is. I mean, there, there's vape stuff. We've been through... How long, long have you been vaping, James, in total? Probably about five or six years. So you're Five the, years. And the, the, the yeah. early stuff, how hit and miss it was. Even the best of oh, the yeah. best was, was hit and miss. And, yeah. you know, you'd, 
used to get, I did anyway, I used to get quite white knuckled about it. That I, oh, this, you know, and getting a coil in the, you know, a thin wire in such a yeah. fine space. Yeah. You know, and then once you've done that right, you pulled your <laughs> wick through, which wasn't cotton, uh, yeah. mess your coil up, and you you just feel like throwing it in the bin. You know, so I think now we there's so much good stuff. We're anyone, kind of spoiled now, aren't we? Anyone who just started vaping six months ago, a year ago, whatever, has got no idea of the journey we <laughs> yeah. to yeah. get to this point. <laughs> You know, some really good stuff now. Um, Jim Mills, I was a fair play for saying that. Now you've put me in a quandary, Sting Grove yeah. Fruit Build. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I wonder you can, even though money might be tight, Jim, that, you know, you have always got the opposite. I think either of those products, certainly I've used the, the Glass and I don't think you'd be disappointed if you're looking for absolute perfection, maybe in three or four months time, buy the other one, you know, so you don't have to buy them both at once or, or anything like that, do you? I think either one you get, you'd be happy. Yeah. Um, Daniel Key is strange. has some struggle and some don't. I smoked heavily from 13 to 37 and thought I was in for a hell of a time. Maybe it was just the right time. Yeah, I think that's a point as well, isn't it? Yeah. There is a right time to stop and a, and a time you just cannot. Because, yeah. I don't know. Be, <coughs> I mean, the, the ironic thing is, if you've got money troubles and you're trying to give up smoking, that's probably the time you can't because you want to fail. Yeah. You're worried about money. So, yeah. yeah, good times and bad. So what new shinies you got then to show us all? Oh, you want me to show you what I've got? Yeah, come on, let's see these samples then. What have we got? <coughs> Kelpie. Yeah, we had Kelpie. Kelpie. In in the Kelpie as well. I'll put that dude wick in there. I, I, oh, yeah. I do like that. I'm a fan of it. Enjoying that. Cool. Yeah. Um, oh, that's this box for the Squeevo. Quite a plain Jane box, isn't it? I quite like that, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. In with my package, because Artery and um, EH Pro are the same company, basically, a bit like Audi and Volkswagen. Yeah. They sent the... What is this thing? It's the, It looks like the Pulse, but it's not. It's the Pal SE. That's it. <laughs> the Pulse. 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 <laughs> and that's the... I did actually put some juice in this. Did I put it back in the box? <laughs> so that'll be downstairs then. <laughs> <laughs> downstairs. Well, at least I've tried it. It's not. It's not actually that bad for a for a pod, but it's it's just that little bit. You've tried pods, haven't you? It's just that little bit of harshness that you don't get with a rebuildable, and that yeah. harshness after a time does seem to get in my throat. I don't know. Yeah, but, but if you're if you're quitting fags. You want that harshness you hitting do. the back of your throat, don't you? To give you that, that yeah. burn on the back of your throat. Yeah, good point. So I got that. <laughs> now this I haven't tried yet. This is the new Art Repel 18650. Ooh, that's pretty. Mod. Oh. Like a unicorn's been sick on it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare that unicorn? <laughs> There it is. I quite like that. It's quite arty, isn't it? I guess it's that's quite... their... They're trying to combat the fetch, aren't they? Yeah. Um, fetch yeah. is tiny, though, to be fair. <laughs> Have you seen one out of the box yet? It's a tiny little thing. Right, that's it. It's not in the box, is it? You haven't opened the box still, have you? <laughs> I'm going to see... I'm gonna wait. Do you see... wait till you see how small that thing is. That That will be very much you. I can see that being you. I know it's me. What the fetch? Me personally, I prefer it with the Nord coils because the other ones are a bit raged, but they're more cloudy the others. But that that with the Nord coils, a 1.4 Nord coil at 10 watts, lovely. 
Benton, no, I won't. I'll try it in the bin now, otherwise it won't get there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks, I'll be a slight delay. <laughs> <coughs> I should have looked at this before. I don't know why I haven't. This where he goes, ooh, when he opens the box. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> right, let's take that out. That can go down there. Fetch. Pal. Pal. Yeah, it is small, isn't it? Yeah, it's Old dinky, isn't it? Ooh, and the tank's pal. magnetic as well. But this is a, a built-in battery, though, isn't it? The yeah, fetch. it is a built-in battery, yeah. yeah but... To, but there you go. That's the inside. I haven't tried this one yet, and they have... Hmm, that looks awfully familiar, that tank design. <laughs> Where have I seen that before? <laughs> dot mod, dot mod IO. <laughs> there's, there's the other side with the 18. Well, I quite like the uh, the like square QB design there. That's quite pretty. It's, quite like yeah, it's, it's very... What's the word? It's like... like... Remember when you were young then? Cars, it's like that. It's like them little. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Oh. I look. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Interesting. But the um, I think it came with yeah, there's another pod for it somewhere. So that's that. Let's put it back, and I will try it, folks. Honestly, I just you just don't know where to go with these pods. There are so many of them. And well, that's technically an all-in-one, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. But there, there are companies as well that I know. You've probably heard it. there's some quite a few these companies in China. They're just shutting the doors now, so I said yeah. not selling. So, yeah. so all the, you know, all these people have bought the, these coils. Things. Where do you get the coils? And um, I mean, you're okay with 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 certain stuff because a lot of them take things like Aspire coils and stuff yeah. like. Don't they? So you're all right with stuff like. I've got that. it downstairs now, but the um, the artery, then you yeah. get a rebuildable head, so you're you're okay with that, really, aren't you? Yeah. But um, I don't think there's a rebuildable head for that. Have you heard of this company? R Vape. Never heard of them, although I quite like the look of that. <laughs> R Vape is a new company. Um, I'll, I did, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. It's a new company. I do know the the individual involved, and um, but it's not fair for me to say where. Let me guess. Split from another company. Yeah, I'm not going like to. They always. Gonna, they always do that. Is China. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where they used to work. Um. So there you go. That's that one. I quite like the look of that as well. It's. It's fairly similar. Um, again, USB C. And I'm guessing they used to work for Smock or Artery, one of the two. <laughs> Eighteen six fifty battery in the side there. So I haven't still got the other one out of the box, but and the the tank. I think this had two. Tanks. Slides oh, out, doesn't it? Slides out, yeah. And the coils, I think we've seen them before. Oh, they look familiar. Where could <laughs> they possibly come from? <laughs> I don't know. Mystery. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are the, basically smock coils. They're probably the same, to be fair. They look like either Nord or RPM coils. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you asked what I've got. There you go. That's what I've got. Oh, there's the other, the other pod in the side there. So, again, I haven't tried this or looked at it properly. Um, they came, when did they come in? They all, all came in yesterday, I had a right DHL delivery day yesterday. Um, with all this new stuff. But whether you're interested, guys in chat, I don't know. Um, but it's it's just me showing what, what's coming, what's out there. Yeah. It's nice, even if you don't like all the ones or pods or anything like that, it's nice to get a feel of the market and where it's going. Where China think it's going, etc. Yeah. 
And that's it, I think. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. He's missed one. He's missed one. This one comes <coughs> in the form of a piece of paper. Um, and it is, it would seem I'm back in favour with keys. <laughs> it's the new Keys Solomon Mesh RTA. Oh. And it does look nice. So, And they're ordered on their way. So, now who's it in? I like, I like Keys stuff. Yeah, it's like good stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's good. Who's it in chat who's mesh all the way? I always pick on Matt Benson. It might be him. Someone loves mesh. It's just nothing but mesh. Rebuildables. Can't remember. If you're in chat, say hello. Can't, it's one of my regulars, and I just can't remember who it is. See, I really like the original PAL. The first PAL they brought out with the Nautilus coils. You mean, yeah, you mean the very first with the... With the Nautilus coil, yeah. One up there in a box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've got one here somewhere as well. This desk is just an absolute mess. But I can imagine. Um, above the clouds, if I'm honest, I think I'd struggle. If vaping got banned tomorrow, there's a good chance I'd be tempted to smoke again. Yeah, and I wasn't saying it. I wouldn't. How can I put that one? What I was saying was, while you're vaping... It's easier to go longer periods of time without a vape than it was when I was smoking to go longer periods of time without a cigarette. But if vaping, well, it wouldn't matter if it's banned because I've got enough stuff to get me going for, you know, for umpteen years. But because they're not going to ban the bloody uh, wire and the batteries, are they? No, but if the vaping police were to not let you do it anywhere in public or on the beach or anywhere else, then yeah. I'm yep. I'd like to think I wouldn't smoke, but you do need that hit from something, don't you? Yeah. You know, I think. Keith, stop baiting my missus would go mental. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't mind what he does as long as he doesn't smoke. That's that's the house rules with Keith. Daniel said he used to watch it. A lot of people used to watch indoor smokers, didn't they, for three months? Yeah. He's off his box, isn't he, that man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, invested in the Aerotank Mega and I stick 20 foam marks, pro cores, and the rest is history. Yeah, those pro cores. Do you know what? I made 40 the weekend and they're nearly. <laughs> well, <laughs> well that's, it's not many, many if they're in a pack of five, is it? <laughs> if you think about it. If you're making 40. Yeah. And people buy them in fives because most no, people no, buy things no, in fives. No, no, they're single, sing, individual. Yeah, but most people would buy five, wouldn't they, at a time? No, no, not no. That. No, they're the pro coils that are like six pound a pop, and they're ah. re they're rewickable. So in theory, they last three to six months. Yeah, but certainly three months, I would say. So yeah, but they're time for me to make James. They're really time consuming. Yeah, uh, and... they're the ones that fit in the aero tank. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to have some of them because I've got to put a couple of old aero tanks. I haven't got coils for. <laughs> if you ne never try my pro coils, you'd have to. No, never tried. I, anyway, look sharp about the pro coils. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone to any more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, your pro coils at Nature Vape. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Bridgewood, Mark, you missed my question. What did I miss? What did I miss? Simon, scroll back, scroll back. What did I miss from Simon? Ah. Oh. oh, what Simon? Here we go. I've got it. Let's put it up there. God, it's a long way back. Sorry, Simon. I did miss it. What's your thoughts on the New Jersey vape bans? Unbelievable tobacco sales being more than their safer alternative to smoking. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's nuts. money. It's follow the money, isn't it, really? It's just money, money, money in it. It's just, yeah. It's nonsensical, Simon. Absolutely nonsensical. Um, I don't know. What, what what can you say to that that makes no no sense whatsoever? No, it just makes no sense. Yeah. It's money, money, and greed, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to scroll all the way back down now. Here we are. Uh, same choice, but I think we're in a minority. Um, what was I spoke? Oh, I see. Yeah. I smoked for 38 years, and the first day I tried vaping was the last day I smoked and vaping eight years now. Brilliant. Well done, George. Um, I pretty much did the same. I bought 
And mine was like a Sigalite thing from Jack Vapor. They didn't know Yeah. Them, didn't they? They, they? They're still going. Yeah, I know they are. Yeah. Yeah, I've been going along. They're in Scotland, I think, aren't they, Jack Vapor? Yeah, that's right. Um, and mine was like this Sigalite thing that you, you screwed the, your next flavour in and you, uh, did you squirt the juice in? But they used to get really soggy really quick. You'd be having a vote. I think that was what, um, weren't they what Vic started on? Were they? Yeah. Jack Vapor e Sigalikes, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. They still sell them as well. Do they? <laughs> yeah. But, and I, I think one was called Battleship or, um, no. De- I want to say Devilship, Battleship. The flavour I'm trying. They had cherry. Um, maybe blueberry, definitely cherry, and this like tobacco type flavor, and a mint. I think I think that was about all it was. And the yeah, and I I remember the package arrived one Saturday morning, and I thought right, well I'll set that up, and I'll not give myself a hard time today. I'll have as many fags as I want, and then tomorrow is my first day but a sunday and i my best cigarette of the day was after roast dinner so (laughs) i thought i'll probably will have a cigarette after my roast dinner and i had about two cigarettes that saturday and one after my roast dinner and i never had one since you know that was that was pretty much it so yeah it worked for me as well yeah bless you thank you daniel um Put that comment on board. Um, put most of my success down to Mark's cause, advice, and indoor smokers' reviews. I never really did watch indoor smokers a lot, but I know a lot of people did. Most jewel use for a while. Yeah, that, a lot of people jewel, but I'd never found. No, it was crap. If you're vaping, a... <laughs> if you're vaping, actually, that starts to taste better than cigarettes do, but when you're vaping and smoking and you're only vaping when you can't get away with smoking at work or something i don't think you're really you haven't made that transition in your head no stop smoking then have you i don't think so corgath i was in hospital a few weeks ago and didn't take a vape set up with me i didn't miss it didn't even think about it but as soon as i got home i was happy to have a vape yeah yeah i remember i went in hospital for my (laughs) Neck operation. <laughs> I had I had me crafty vape. What did I take in with me? I think that might have been. I think I took in two. I think that might have been the Arbery Nugget, the original one. Yeah. And I can't remember what the other one was, but I do remember. What get the old covers? Of <laughs> <laughs> the crafty. Vape. The curtain round black. <laughs> It's like, do you remember Morgan and Wise when, when he used to take a drink like this? Yeah. <laughs> it was one of them. <coughs> um, a swirly monk. Now I vape. I pick times to really enjoy the vape. If I can't vape, I don't really care. I mainly enjoy vaping with beer or a good wine. Yeah, yeah so, you get a nice vape pairing. <laughs> yeah, but that swirly monk is virtually agreeing with me, isn't he? It's, he's yeah. not. So he doesn't feel so reliant on vaping yeah. as, he, as he did smoking, perhaps. We hit ten o'clock, haven't we? Let's rattle through these. If I'm somewhere I can't vape, I find snus that comes in handy. Snus, snus. Yeah, it's that it's slight stuff. That, that's snus. No, there's snus, which is nicotine. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's big in Switzerland and places like that. Is it? Mm-hmm. Snooze. Um, <laughs> in your Matt, Matt Beans. Even Matt, I've used your name a couple of times in vain. One was about the pipes and the other one was about mesh. Was it used into mesh? Uh, mesh RTAs? But anyway, um, Jay. It's basically it's like a chewing wood. tobacco sort of thing. Put it under your tongue, under your teeth, like, to get your nicotine. What's that? Snus. Snus. Oh, snus. Yeah. He, uh, he wants to know, Jay, are you vaping on a whistle? What's that? Oh, he's, on about, he's on about this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy, remember John Player Special Black? I do indeed. 
probably one of the prettiest packets that there was about at the time, wasn't it? Yeah, they were set there to, to entice you to smoke, weren't they? They really were. Um, Velvet Cloud, I think if I started on rollies, it would not smoke so much as such a hassle to roll them. But in the end, I just filled up a tin with roll ups and I bought a lot builder. That's actually. right. Tina Make a roll for the next day. Yeah. 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 Sure, and sometimes it all like, tasted nicer when it was just drying out a bit, didn't it? <laughs> it yeah. Not dry, dry, but just drying out a bit. Um, and George says only voting's work for him. Sorry, folks, I'm going to scroll through these a bit quick because we're hit ten o'clock. Um, yeah, and the, I mean the other thing as well. I'm I'm still rattling on, aren't I? But. <clears throat> If you, if you would never a smoker, right, and you got to the age you are now and someone gave you a cigarette, what would your reaction be, having never had one before? Probably wouldn't bother, would you? You wouldn't, would you? You'd probably go, ah. Or if you wanted to smoke, you'd probably have to work quite hard at getting used to that. Yeah. So what is it that makes us do it when we're in our teens um, and younger? <laughs> So, yeah, that's been an interesting thought. Food for thought, that one. Um, Mr. Kettle, about right? time you've got yourself a mouth to lungs set up, get some decent flavour and save yourself some moolah. The latest Nautilus beckons. Yeah, okay. Yep. Back in my days, you, <laughs> you kids don't, don't know how good you got it. <laughs> Iggy. <laughs> Um, okay, oh, CE2 Clearamizer, yeah, crikey, I remember them. Yeah. And the Vivi Nova. Uh, question all... Tip. They, uh, With the wiggly tip. Yeah. Remember the wiggly tip? I do. Question all, if they discovered a cure for cancer, or would you start smoking again? No, I, I don't think that was ever for me. No. It was never a... a it's funny how your attitudes change, isn't it? When... Mm. When you're young, and oh, when I was 12 or 13, I think, when I was smoking, starting to smoke. But when you're that age, someone says, um, you'll never be any good at sport, and that'll stunt your growth. Well, I'm six foot two, so I didn't stunt my growth. So that was <laughs> number one. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Um, and you, people tell you, you know, you, you'll get ill, you'll, you know, it's no no good for you. So, I mean, don't, don't forget, I'm like 55, so... It wasn't as frowned on in those days as it is now, but it was still recognised it wasn't good for yeah. me. And I think my logic was that when you're younger, you think, well, I don't really want to live 50 years old. is years away. I don't want to live till I'm old. Yeah. But anyway, you know, but then you hit 50, and you think, well, I want a few more years than this. So I think attitudes, they do change. They do. Um... Oh, Kieran, testing the gas mods. He's gone again. He's in freezing, frozen mode. Um, gas mods, Cree RTA, not bad in mouth to lung. Yeah, I quite like that. All gas mod stuff is pretty good. <coughs> you froze momentarily there, Jay. Yeah, it had a squiffy of it. Scrolling down, scrolling down. And there's a little bit there about net tobacco. Sorry, I haven't got time to... To go through that, I know one or two of you are making comments about it. I haven't tried the Juice Cabins net tobacco, I'll be honest. I've tried a few net tobaccos, not from um, Les, but I've tried um, ones from somewhere in France, I think they are, and they were quite pleasant. I still want to try the... Um... Oh, God, what's the name of it? I can't remember. It's gone from my head. What is a tobacco? And there's one I want to try. Kieran likes it, I think. So does Keith. I can't remember what it's called. He'll put it in the in the in the chat in a minute. Andy Harris never tried mesh. Never used mesh. <laughs> so it wasn't Matt Benson. <laughs> <coughs> ah, manic. It's manic. I it mesh. Manic. Oh, manic. There's a a new the keys. Mesh RTA is coming. It's ordered, um, been sent out tonight, I think, in sort of Chinese time. We'll get it in a few days, um, been, and I'll have it on the show when I get it in um, and show you what it's like. 
my opinion of it. Hey, up, Vaughan, how you doing, mate? Um, what's this? What's this? What's this? Do I do watch Vaping with Vic and get a dry hit on mesh on a live show? <laughs> I mean, I've had a dry hit on mesh, and that's not pleasant. It really isn't. I think I'm getting the chat is. <laughs> think of the chat <coughs> flavors to over twenty-one year olds. Yeah. Anyone see Vic do the three hundred watt vape on the Lost Vape Triad? Um, no, I don't think I did. Three hundred watt. Who vapes at three hundred? I don't. Even with a dual no, coil, coil, I'm oh, sixty-five, nuts. seventy watts. You know, so I couldn't vape on that. Um, don't vape. No, don't vape near your PC. Clean my system the other day, and there's a sweaty mess had pulled up around the case, top and bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's like a bit like your car windscreen, isn't it? Yeah. Dean, Devil Vapor, good evening. Um, have you got Dean? Have you got Vix? Um, Kelpie RDA in yet? I got it through yesterday. Yes, yeah, yesterday it came. And I'll put this one on the screen. This is Eamon. Hi, Mark. Eamon's from Sweden here. Thanks for the invitation. Looking forward to watching the live stream. Welcome to the channel, Eamon. I spoke to Eamon on the phone. Lovely chap. Um, he likes a 0.8 size millimetre hole for his mouth to lung. He doesn't like He likes it tight. And he's. you've got one in front of you. He's interested in the um, Purity Plus because he thinks that air hole will suit him down the ground without... He doesn't like any noise. He likes it quiet. So what do you reckon? He's got one in front of him, Eamon, and let, he'll have a vape on it now. That's tight as a duck's arse, mate, on the on the small <laughs> hole. You'll, be low, you'll love that. You'll love that. Yeah, you will. You'll love that. I'm just, I, I've never vaped it that tight, and I've literally, I, I've obviously never vaped it, but I've had a pull on it, and yeah, you'll like that. That I think that is 0. 0.8 mil. So you've got, it's that, got that, a have you got that on the single air, air hole or dual 0. 0.8? Let me have a look. Let me unscrew it, because I, I can only see one side of it. <laughs> Yeah, because it's on the easy mod, isn't it? What I was thinking of doing is making some shims up, you know, some really fine shims out of plastic yeah. discs, so you can, like, alter where it sits. And this, Eamon, was what I was telling you about, the Tell tank with the crossbow inside. That was on dual holes at point whatever mill that is. It's a tiny freaking hole. Right. <laughs> it's a tiny little hole, that. You've gone around the that other was... way, other way, I think. No, no, that was right. That was where <laughs> the holes were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, both of them are open. Ah, oh, the there tightest you go. We hole. Oh, we can see it. Yeah, yeah. On the tightest hole, both are open, and that's tight. So if I turn it to, where is it? Is it that way? Yeah, it's that one. Is that both open? Good question. Stop. Yeah, that's tight. You'll like that. It's got a nice adjustable airflow on that, mate. You'll like that. Billy Getty, hi mate. He's frozen again. Could you tell me the best place to buy 2700 batteries to make sure they are not counterfeit? Well, you could buy them from me. Mine aren't counterfeit. Or you could buy them off Fogstar or 18650. Um, you should be fine with any of those three. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Bloody thing. I'm just skimming through because the questions keep coming, but I've got to finish it. It's 11 minutes past 10. <clears throat> um, oh, Matt Benson, problem with the gas. He's talking about the, the gas mods. Is You have to finish the tank yeah. to get to the coil. It's held together by the screw and the drip tip, and the tank is on a... Oh, right, I didn't realise that. There's quite a lot of them are like that, aren't they? Corgoth makes a point there. Back when I started smoking, everyone smoked. My doctor smoked, dentist smoked, everyone I can think of smoked. Yeah, you go to the doctor and you're like, I don't feel very well. Have you tried smoking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calm your nerves, yeah. boy. You need, you need calm your nerves, boy. <laughs> get, you, get yourself, a, I prescribe a packet of woodbines. <laughs> yeah. 
And I think... <laughs> I think we're there. I think... <laughs> Daniel wants to know what, what's Swedish for tight as a duck's ass. <laughs> That's what you said about the tank. Yeah, I'm sure in translation, Eamon, that will come through. Um, and Eamon also, I think, he liked the the dark, you know, the diamond tank on top. Yeah. Um, so Looks nicer than the diamond tank. So get the diamond tank as an optional extra in the colour that you prefer. Um, and an easy mod to go put it on because it looks, it looks the na nudges on that. It's well, duck's ass is an official me measurement. <laughs> it is an official measurement. <laughs> um, you're welcome, Moment. Glad glad to help. Um, uh, Shane got to see us some true tank love here. Got the true tank on the iStick power mod 13 watts on a 5,000 mile back power for days. Yeah, yeah, that's the way you want it. I have, um, I've been vaping a lot of different stuff lately because I wanted to to try it so but i know in my heart hearts i will go back to my trusty true tank i just know and i know yeah. it's not far away because i'm missing it i really am so i think at 13 minutes past 10 we usually go till 10 at well saying that we always run over i don't i don't know where the time goes but uh, i think it is time for us to depart so uh would you like to say all goodbyes james Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for participating or whatever it is. <laughs> for us, participating. Uh, keeping us busy with your chat and whatever. It's always good because without that, we wouldn't be here, would we? No, absolutely. Yeah. There'd be no show yeah. without your contribution. Uh, exactly. You know, there's, there's been a lot of lot of people make, making suggestions and and asking great, and it all helps the thing flow. And tonight, I yeah. I feel I was rushed tonight, but I. I've sort of rambled through what I've got. Well, we've got there. We got there. We've had a nice, and that's what this is like. Just that's what it's about. Friendly chat, yeah. really. So, hope you've enjoyed the show. If you haven't given a thumbs up, we're on forty-two. Fifty-seven of you watching. Come on, get that to fifty. I'm sure. Get it up to fifty. Get it to fifty. I'll have a vape while it gets to fifty, <laughs> and then we'll sign off. Old oh, miserable old lot. No, no one's hit the thumbs up. I stayed on forty two. Right, well I'm off then. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> buggy. <yet. laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next week. Take care. See you later, guys. Till that.